Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Cooking with Rachel on Geeks Amusing. Um, what we're going to do here today is uh, paneer tikka masala. The prep work is already done. We had a little bit of a mishap last night. I was supposed to cook this last night, but um, come to find out I didn't have a key ingredient. <laughs> had to go get it. So we had to uh, wrap everything up and start for today. So the prep work is completely done for everything that we're making. Um, like I said, paneer tikka masala. We're also going to make some garlic naan and we're going to make some... <laughs> I don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to say carrot pudding. Um, and some cilantro ri lime rice. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Hope you guys enjoy. Now the recipe said to do it all in batches. So here's the first batch. Oops, I just broke a piece. I did not mean that. I went ahead and just stopped recording since it was pretty much the same old, same old. Didn't want you guys getting bored. Put the last little pieces in. Making a mess in the process. guys so we're going to continue on with the paneer um, I had to wipe out my pan so they say two tablespoons of oil I may add a little more because that does not look like enough you guys know how I am it makes me nervous I just add more yeah that looks good okay. oh onion so what I've got here are two small red onions. Two medium sized green bell peppers, or as you guys call them, capsicums. Is that right? Let me know if that's wrong. I think that's right. Get them coated in the oil. And then it says to add salt. All right, we're gonna let this cook off and then it'll be just a couple of minutes before we get back because we've gotta get started on our rice as well. See you in a minute, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on the basmati rice. Right here, what I've got going on is uh, two tablespoons of butter. Um, I went ahead and melted it down because we're going to brown the basmati rice. That's one and a half cups. Oops, I'm making a mess again. I like to make messes when I cook, apparently. No comment from the peanut gallery who happens to be recording. Let that brown up for just a minute. Okay, so what we got going on over here is we've got the uh, capsicums and the onions. Is that how you guys say it? It's capsicums? I can't remember. I'm nervous, so I forget. 
but they've been cooking now so i for about five minutes um i've got some spices that need to go in here so i'm gonna go grab those and i will be right back okay so i've got spices going in here i've got the garam masala i've got the turmeric i've got the um, garlic and the ginger it's a nice little paste um but salt well no i don't have salt and pepper yet i gotta put that in um i got cumin turmeric all that going in so so ooh, ooh! did you smell that oh that smells so good the rice is browning beautifully. I'm over here if you guys can't see it, sorry. Trinity can't keep up with me right now because I've got five things going at once. That is such an amazing smell. Holy crap. All right, this is eight tomatoes that I cook, cut up. I was gonna say cook. I cut up. I'm fixing to put those in as soon as all of this is incorporated. Just look at how pretty that is. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And it smells. Oh my god, it's so insane how good it smells. Okay. I almost don't want to add the tomatoes because I'm afraid it's going to change the smell. The rice is brown. We're going to go ahead and turn that off while we add the tomatoes or tomatoes, however anybody says it. Okay, and I also need to get the water. Hold on just a second. I'll get that in just a second. That goes in here. Okay, so now I need sugar and water. Let me get the water going. Trinity, I need two teaspoons of uh, sugar for you. Will you get me a big, that big old? Yeah. Thank you. I'm proud of you. You knew what the teaspoon was. I forgot to add the pepper. Thank you. All right, so I'm just supposed to let this cook now. According to the recipe, it says to cook it for 10 minutes. And then I get to blend it up because my family, even though they'll eat them, they really don't like vegetables, except for maybe Trinity. Trinity is a little bit more open to the vegetables. But we're just going to let this sit here and cook for 10 minutes while we continue with the basmati rice. And then we're also going to get started on the garlic naan. See you guys back here in a minute. Okay, so the basmati rice has been browning. It is beautifully browned. I've got the broth going over here. It's just been going for a couple of minutes. It's not ready yet. So I've got the basmati rice a little bit lower heat to continue uh, to continue browning while we wait for the broth to heat up. In the broth I have two and a quarter cups of chicken broth, a little bit, no salt, but a little bit of uh, lemon zest, or I'm sorry, lime zest, because I'm making lime cilantro uh, 
Last mat of your ice. And this guy is cooking up. Oh, I need that uh, lid for this, Trinity. I forgot to tell you that. Sorry, kid. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I always forget to turn my phone off when I'm cooking. So slowly stirring this in to get it all incorporated. The little green specks that you see our lime zest because that's where most of the flavor is outside of the juice. I'm going to get the lid to get this covered and then we're going to let it cook. I'll see you guys back here in a couple minutes. Okay, I know you guys can't see it when it's back here, uh, but what I got is some slivered almonds and some cardamom pods that I'm dry roasting real quick because of the uh, carrot pudding because I don't know how to pronounce it the way that you guys say it. So I'm just going to call it carrot pudding. Um, but here we go. I'm gonna cut this down and get that going. We still got the tikka masala going right here. Looking beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Oh. So the nuts have been going for a moment. As you can see, some of them have toasted up pretty nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and give them one more flip and we're just gonna do a little bit more until they're done. Alrighty guys, so this has been simmering for 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add the remaining ingredients, which it told me to use the leftover marinade. So I'm just gonna scrape what I can of it into here. The spoon is not very good for scraping. I don't think I have one. It's all right. And then we add three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I've already shook up the jug. One, two, three. And just let this stir in. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Getting excited. Alright, so we're going to let this sit for about, I want to say five minutes. Let it cool off a little bit. I'm going to pull out my blender, blend it up because my family, like I said, doesn't do vegetables very well. The boys more than the girls. Trinity likes the salad every once and again. So, see you back here in a minute. Alrighty, so the next step for the carrot pudding, which I have going on back here, is to bring the, the cream to a boil. I have have it on medium high, which is number six right here. I'm just waiting for it to continue and to boil up. Once it boils, we'll add the sugar and the other spices that go in. Um, the nuts and the cardamom pods have done very nicely i'm waiting for them to cool a little bit before i start to cut them up they're still pretty warm but they're beautiful aren't they beautiful oh that's so fun be back in a minute Alrighty guys, so the cream has come to a boil um i've got two cups of grated carrot finely grated carrot I'm going to go ahead and add that in. Just stir it up really good. Now it says to do it on a medium low, so I'm taking it down to a medium low while it cooks up. Oh, 
I'll be checking it periodically while it cooks. Get that covered. Alrighty. Okay, so let's start on the non. I love doing that. It's so much fun. Put somebody's face you really don't like. Picture it right there. Works great. Excuse the mess behind me. It gets messy as I work. Oh, I forgot my rolling pin. pretty so it says after you've rolled it out to cut it into small pieces and then put those small pieces into Alrighty guys, so pretty much what we've got going on here is I have blended everything and I'm going to go ahead and add the paneer back into it so that it can heat up. It's going to take about a minute for it to heat up and get everything, the, the flavors all incorporated with everything. So hold on just a second, we'll do that. The kids have said it smells like Christmas in here. Stirring everything up. Oh, um, the rice is also done. Sorry, I didn't get that recorded. But it's been fluffed and the lime juice has been, cilantro has been added. So we've got the rice ready to go. As soon as this gets incorporated up and has been heated up, I'm going to transfer it over to the counter. And then I'm going to heat up. Whoops. Heat up our um, naan. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Alrighty guys, we are over to the final stretch. Right now I've got my cast iron skillet. It's pretty well heated. Um, I also have, ooh, this is looking good. The pudding is almost completely evaporated. So it's got the sugar. That's a lot of sugar. So now I gotta cook this until half of the moisture evaporates. Okay, so I got them on. So we're just gonna heat it up. <laughs> I'm really excited. All right, so I'm just gonna let that cook up a little bit. Smells amazing. Oops. Ooh, you guys, I'm getting excited. All right, so I'm gonna finish picking up the um, the non. And I will meet you back here in a few.
time. Alrighty guys, so pretty much what's going on here is I'm um, cooking up one of the last two pieces of naan. The paneer is done. Voila. Oh, that looks so good. As is the pudding. That looks good too, huh? I'm, I'm excited and nervous about that one. <laughs> There's that. And then the rice is over on the counter. It's completely done as well. So about two more minutes and we'll be able to eat. Yay! All right, everybody, we are completely cooked. So we're gonna go ahead and start to plate it up. I've been uh, requested to eat this properly, which means to eat with my hands. I'm not very good at getting my fingers dirty. Um, so there goes nothing. That's a big piece. That's very good. And I didn't get my fingers dirty. I'm proud of myself. I don't really taste the paneer though. I'm, yeah. I can taste, yeah, I bit my tongue. I can taste the sauce, but I can't taste the paneer. Never had the camera that close while I eat before. <laughs> Oh, there's the kick. There's the spice. Oh, there's the spice. <laughs> I am not a spicy person. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try it. Oh my God, I need water. I need milk. No, I don't like milk. So what is that cheese? What is this? It's a cheese. cheese. I've been told it's like a cottage cheese. Okay. I just take a whole lump? Yeah. Oh, it's breaking apart. <laughs> oh. You'll get the kick and it'll hit you in the back of your throat. Ouch. Pretty good, babe. Thank you. It's really good, actually. <laughs> Sometimes I do something right. Oh, it's still. This is the second time you've made the naan, right? Yeah. These are really good. That the naan is like really good. The um, the rice. What kind of ch cheese is that? They've told me it's like a cottage cheese. I don't know why Trini's not looking at the camera to eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know why. That is really good. I don't. I don't have a. There's not a kick at all to me, at all. Yeah, but you like spice. No, I don't. I'm not a fan. I'm not a professional. Let's professional. Here. I'm not a big spicy person at all. Trinity is. Jordan. Up in Jordan. The well, what do you think? To me, there's no kick at all. Excuse but it's me. good. It's really good though. Excuse me, baby. I'm going to kick you. I must have gotten a really big piece of it then because I was just good kicked in the butt. The you cheese. want to come in here and, and get on your knees so you can look right in the, the camera? The cheese tastes like chicken. Really good. I'm gonna step out so Jordan can get, can get in here. Ah, right, back off. Oh, uh, there's a piece right you there. You had your walking. fair share. Back out of here. Oh my god. All right, Troy. Hmm. Troy needs to come in here where Jordan's at. Oh, the naan. Fun. The naan is so good. Though. Everything's good, but the, the way you make that naan is delicious. There's right? I don't taste the spice. I don't either. I don't. I must have just gotten a big piece down of spice. What? Where's the spice at? Get in this. There you go. Mm. Really good. It is good, ain't it? Hmm? See? And you were like, I'm not gonna eat it because you vegetables. Yeah, give me a plate so I can get some. Yeah, I wanna. Rachel did an awesome job. Her and Trinity did most of the filming. Uh, Except for like the last minute I come in here and did that because <laughs> I was done editing videos. So Wait, did you guys try the pudding? No, because I think I burned it. Nathan? Mm, I don't even know what kind of pudding is that. It's carrots. It's carrot pudding. I don't like, I'm not well, eating carrots. I don't care. You must try I'm it. I'm not eating it. Turn it. Turn it. This is a pudding. What's that like? Hurry. It's I, raw. I don't know, babe. Is that, is that, what is it? Raisins? Mm-hmm. Well, what is it exactly, though? It's carrots. It's carrots. 
I'm not gonna get a huge. Cream. That is huge. I'm not a, look, look at everybody just, <laughs> bear with me. I'm not a I'm carrot I'm not a fan. carrot fan at all. So. Trent is, fan. Trent is a carrot fan. You eat baby carrots all the time. Ugh. All right, here we go. Did you get a raisin? You need to get a no, raisin. Not, you have ra to get, I like raisins. Get the raisins and the there. nuts, the almonds. Well, I like almonds too. Well, yeah, okay then. There. <sighs> all right. Those is raisin. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually not bad. I I was expecting a carrot taste. Yeah, carrot taste. It didn't. You cook the carrot taste. Out. What? You know how long that's been cooking? No. Almost an hour. I'm not gonna say it's my favorite thing ever, ever. But what I was expecting, my taste buds to what I got, was good. It was. Pretty good, not bad, not bad at all. Good job. No, I did not like carrots or raisins, so. Jordan. <laughs> the second line of defense here. So, Nathan, here. you like you like the carrot pudding? I'm not gonna say like like it, but it's not. It wasn't. I was expecting it to be no no disrespect. I was expecting it to be gross. It was not gross. It was good, ish. Look at Jordan's so it's not what you expect, is it? Not I'm what? confused on how you cut the carrot taste out of this. This is what's throwing me off. It's, I know. I don't it's get not it. bad, but I don't know how because you cook it. Because it's cooked in cream. Let it's not it. something where I could eat like a bowl of it this size, but... <laughs> Troy, your turn. That is it. Oh, oh, wow. It doesn't taste like carrots. It's, it's not bad. Uh, it doesn't taste like carrots, but I'm not a fan. In the kitchen, uh, whooping up some chicken. Mm. That's not even chicken. You know it's cheese? I know it's cheese, <laughs> but I was just singing the song. Please. Okay. Uh-uh, get down so they can see you. I'm going to tell you my mouth right there. It tastes good? Yeah, actually, real good. I, don't I thought I burned it. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think you burnt it at all. Yeah. Oh my I don't God, think, this is really good. There was like one little part that was on top that was burned, but other than that, it was good. I say good job again, babe. She did awesome. Good job. Yeah, uh, you guys us, get to clean since you didn't. Let us film. know. We gotta rinse that yeah. stuff first. Let us know yeah, if uh, what that. the next uh, Indian dish that Rachel should uh, give a go to. So she did a good job. It looks really good. Mm -hmm. Tastes delicious. And uh, as soon as I stop this uh, camera, I'm digging in more of that and this because it was really good. Well, I'll go ahead and do that start.